I'm Semi O. Oh. I'm an assistant professor of modern Korean history in the Department of Asian Languages and Cultures. I teach courses on modern Korean history and visual cultures. My name is Naomi Silver, and I'm the associate director of the Sweetland Center for Writing at the University of Michigan. I've been using online discussion ever since I started teaching here in Michigan in 2009. I was visiting, and I taught a class called Korean History Through Films. I started using that format because I had a very good experience um, in graduate school. A professor of mine required everyone to post and assign one to two uh, discussion leaders for the forum. It was still relatively new technology at that time because many professors still required response papers to be submitted as, on paper. It was very helpful for me as a shy student who couldn't always get a chance to speak during the class. And it also helped me to understand what other people were thinking, even though they didn't participate um, in the class. And we used the discussion forum as a way to call on each other in class and ask questions about what they wrote. So we ended up having a deeper conversation and cover a wider range of topics because the discussion started the day before and carried into the class. There were three reasons that um, I first started using on, uh, discussion forums and online discussion blogs in my classrooms. I wanted to extend student engagement outside of the classroom. So I wanted a way for the readings and the discussions and the work that we were doing in class to live between the class sessions. And it was a nice way to do that because students, you know, after class or on the weekend would be in engaging. I also wanted to provide structured opportunities for students to reflect on the work we were doing in class. And um, discussion forums are a pretty nice way to do that because it lets students think through their ideas in uh, a space that feels maybe a little bit more comfortable sometimes than a classroom discussion can, uh, and it, it gives them the opportunity to, to reflect on their learning, but also sometimes to reflect more deeply on some of the concepts that have come up in class. And I also wanted students to begin to see each other as a genuine audience. And so a lot of the work I do with uh, discussion forums is having students interact with each other, respond to each other, and so this is a way for them um, you know, they do get to know each other in class somewhat, of course, but it's a way for them to engage more deeply and in a more focused way uh, with each other. Discussion leaders are supposed to read all the blogs, um, response papers, or weekly postings posted by students about the assigned readings or films, and bring in questions raised by the blogs. So a good discussion question would bring together common concerns raised by the class and present them in a way that fosters further discussion. I choose topics for the fora based on what we're doing in class that week. I tend to use them more or less weekly or bi-weekly. And so it could be that they link up to a reading that I really want students to think more deeply about or to possibly also to engage with prior to class. For the blogs, I ask students not to worry about formality too much, but instead encourage them to be spontaneous and creative if they can. And also encourage students to ask questions if they did not understand any aspects of the readings and need any clarification. And I encourage students to comment on each other's blog as a way to start the discussion before the class meeting. I, I don't, actually don't ever give them letter grades on the, the discussion forums. They're really a form of low stakes writing in my classroom. I lay out uh, expectations for what I hope they'll include in the post, you know, the, the, the length, um, the level of formality. Usually they're not fully formal. Um, you know, they're more conversational, but I want them to be still you know, editing and thinking about their audience. I assigned a group of discussion leaders um, to read the blogs posted by everyone and synthesize the discussion comments and questions to figure out what are the best points or the common thoughts raised or questions that we should address in class and then create a group discussion questions for the whole class to discuss on that day. I read the, the posts before class. It can provide a really nice way to start off class, actually, and to get us into the material that we're going to be touching on by sort of either giving a brief summary of sort of the main themes that I've seen them bring up, or sometimes I'll bring up a particular uh, student's post that was especially thoughtful or interesting. It's not always easy to get everyone participate, and there are always more vocal students who dominate the discussion. So I asked the discussion leaders to mention particular postings written by 
particular student and ask what they meant by that or if they would talk more about the question that they raised. So in the discussion learning setting, um, particularly in my film class last semester, um, I also try to break the discussion into small groups so that we can get some discussions going in a small group setting before we have a general discussion for the entire class. There are a variety of benefits and it really depends on the focus of the class and the kinds of questions, but overall I think it really does help students engage more deeply with the course material because they're not just kind of reading and coming to class and sort of saying what they have to say, but they're, you know, they're really engaging in what we call writing to learn in the writing studies field, which is where, you know, through writing and reflecting and writing on course materials, you come to a deeper understanding. Having students engage in an online discussion topic before class does improve the quality of in-class discussion because in-class discussion can be more in-depth after the online discussion. It can take up from a very different level. It also gives an opportunity for students who would otherwise not speak in class, have their thoughts reflected in the discussion. An online discussion, unlike in-class discussion, has an advantage of having multiple voice speak at the same time, and it's not limited by class time or the physical space of the classroom. It also engages them more fully in the writing process and gets them to sort of step back and reflect on their writing process so that they're not just going through the steps for the paper, but they're, talk, they're writing about the process that they're going through, right? So there's a certain kind of metacognition that takes place. Students can always go back to their blogs and online discussion and revisit the questions after the in-class discussion and compare where their thoughts were beforehand and afterwards. So it really serves to extend the discussion to before and after the class. I don't actually contribute at all to the forum or to the blog, depending on what, you know, what form we're using. One of my aims in setting up this kind of community space for them is to have them think of it as their space and a place where they can, I mean, I'm obviously reading it, but it's a place where they can maybe um, speak more freely or speak more casually than they might in a classroom. And if I were commenting on it, then it might uh, interfere with that process. I think it specifically helps with students who worked in the same discussion group. I've seen students in the same group developing special bonding with each other. Um, I also used to assign discussion groups among the students in different campuses in the distant learning setting so that they could collaborate through Google Docs uh, beforehand even though they don't see each other in person. They gave them extra time to get to know each other. One of the most interesting things I find is that it really can give you insight, a different kind of insight into how students are thinking about the material for the course or about their own writing. Online discussion helps to create an environment that can overcome the restrictions of the classroom in classroom setting and it also helps to create a sense of community among the students who can engage in discussion with each other not only in their classroom setting but also outside of the classroom because the discussion starts the day before the in-class discussion the discussion can start on a very different level the other thing that i think makes it super valuable is just the opportunity for students to continue their engagement uh, outside of class. And so with the discussion forum or the blog, I find that, um, especially because they're writing to each other and they're engaging with each other, that they, they're thinking about it in a different way than if it were just like, you know, I need to make sure I check this thing off and turn it in. Um, it becomes a conversation for them. And so their engagement with the material, I think, is often um, more substantial than it might be and makes it, I think, a, a pretty valuable addition to the classroom.